G'day folks, Ren here, and it is time for the Clitrature and Thick Thighs TBRs. So in February, there are two readathons that I am partaking in, and that is the Clitrature readathon round one and the Thick Thighs readathon round two. These are both happening at the end of February. They overlap a little bit, but I have two separate TBRs for both of them. So let's go through them and add so many more books to my TBR this month. So first up is Cliterature, which is happening from the 19th to the 25th of February, and that is hosted by Steph from Steph Loves. This used to be a Patreon book club that she was hosting, but she has now turned that into a readathon, which is very fun. So this will be the very first round, and we have a lovely bingo board. Let's go through all of the books I want to read for that one. For the queer space, I am going to pick an arc that I have that I really need to read. I can't super remember the name of, and I don't know who the author is. I'll put up a picture here, but it's like the white and blue space between us. From what I potentially remember about this, I requested so many books at the end of December, and a lot of them got approved more than I thought, but from memory it was about these two guys who like used to date in high school or something, but now when they're adults they're kind of reconnecting and potentially re-sparking that flame. I don't know, but it is a manga, so that'll always be interesting. And it's about two guys, and it's a romance, which I don't think I mentioned, but Cliterature is about reading romance books. Yeah, I probably completely butchered that synopsis, but it's hot. You can hear the fan. There's only so much energy I have to film this, and I need to film it now. So yeah, there's that. Then this next book fits for three of the prompts. It fits the queer prompt, the POC prompt, and the favourite trope prompt. And that is Nate Plus One by Kevin Van Y. This is a YA book, it's a nice and short, and it is about these two guys who enter into this fake relationship, which is my favourite trope ever. The way it goes is one of these guys has to go to like his cousin's wedding or something, but his ex-boyfriend is also going to be there. So he asks this guy to be his fake boyfriend for the wedding and wedding festivities to make the ex-boyfriend jealous, and in return he will be the singer for that guy's band. And feelings happen because it's a fake dating. But I love fake dating, the cover is cute, I have read a book from Kevin Van Wy before, I think you can see it here. Right here, Date Me Bryson Keller, one of my faves. So I am looking forward to reading more of his stuff, and like it's fake dating, it's my favourite trope, I'm sure I'm gonna love it. I also decided to pick another one for my favourite trope, because I just, I need to read all the books apparently. But I'm going with one of the Mindfuck series books by S.T. Abbey, and that is book four, which is All the Lies. Favourite trope I'm going with is like serial killer romance, <laughs> because I'm very much very much in the mood for some serial killer romance stuff. So in this we are following a female serial killer and her FBI agent boyfriend. It's the best. Love that. I really love their dynamic in this. It's amazing. I love how much they're obsessed with each other. I think that's really cool. I love our female serial killer and I love her murders. <laughs> like getting to read some of the stuff she does to these men they're my everything. I love it. So I really love this series and I'm so close to the end. I just, I want to know how this will wrap up. Then for a illustrated cover and a new to you author, I'm going to read Along for the Ride by Mimi Grace. This is on my Kindle and I really need to read some of my Kindle books. This is a romance between these two people who don't really like each other, but they are kind of forced to go on a road trip together for someone's wedding. They're always weddings, but they are forced to go on this road trip together to help out a friend. A romance happens from there. The cover is super cute. That girl on the cover, I am really looking forward to reading some Mimi Grace because I have heard some really good things about this author, so I am intrigued to see what all the hype is about. 
and I've I've read like one road trip romance before I didn't love it but that was YA that could be a factor in it so I'm interested to see what a adult road trip romance will do then for a five star prediction I have Heartstopper volume 5 it has been so hard not to read this already I'm obsessed with Heartstopper like everyone else in the world honestly it's so good. It's about Nick and Charlie who are two teenage boys that end up becoming friends, unlikely friends, and then they enter into a relationship. And it's about their relationship. It is soft and sweet and beautiful. It's a graphic novel. It's amazing. I love it so much. I don't see why I wouldn't give this a five star. And then the last prompt I need to complete apart from the non-reading ones is a poll pick. In my TBR Gate video I did this poll. The three options I had, they were all manga. They're all queer manga, so that's awesome. But the one that won the poll was I Married My Best Friend to Shut My Parents Up by Kodama Naoko. So I'll be reading this one. So like I said, it's a manga. It is a queer manga between these two girls, and it's exactly what the title says. They married each other to quiet the parents. So there's that. I'm really looking forward to this because it kind of has that like fake dating trope about it, which you know I love. And I flipped through and I like the art. The art is good. And oh, I'm so intrigued to see these two best friends like become lovers. So that's going to be all for the literature readathon. So I've got all of these plus Along for the Ride and the white and blue between us thing. Um, but obviously I'm not reading all of that. I'm reading like the teeny tiniest little bit. But there's that. Very doable. Very much looking forward to these. Then we have the Thick Thighs Readathon, which is held from the 22nd to the 29th of February. And this is being hosted by Sasha from Sash Reads, Meredith from Reading with Merb, Erin from Sheba and Shelves, and myself. This is going to be super fun. The first Thick Thighs Readathon we had was a lot of fun, and I'm really glad that we're doing it again. It's going to be amazing. So the first prompt is queer. So the book I'm going to choose for this is More to Love by Kirsten Georgina. I don't think that's correct, but it might be. I know it's Kirsten. I have it on my Kindle. Like I said, I need to read my Kindle books. And this is a male-male relationship and we have one of our main characters is plus size and he's a little self-conscious about it because he's very like big and burly and just he thinks he looks very intimidating and then when he sees this really cute like bookshop owner he's like oh they're really really cute but you know they're probably really scared of me because of how of how I look but then this bookshop owner is like damn that guy's really attractive and then cute love story between the two of them. I don't know, this is going to be a really short one. I think it's only like 150 pages or something, but I'm looking forward to it because the cover is cute and it's a queer love story with a plus size male main character. Love that. Then for the graphic novel prompt, I'm really, really glad that my library had this because I saw this manga in England and I really wanted to buy it, but I didn't because I was like, oh, what if I don't like it? I'm like, no, you're an idiot. And I sent the picture of it to the rest of the Thick Thighs hosts. And I was like, oh my god, this. And my library had it. And it just came in. So obviously now I get to film this. But that is Embrace Your Size by Hara. This is a... Is it a non-fiction? It's a love letter to anyone striving to embrace their size. This uplifting comic essay by a plus-size author chronicles her journey with body positivity, what inspired her to change her mindset, and how she learned to love herself as she is. Oh, that's the softest, sweetest thing that I ever did here. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. And like, yeah, flipping through it, it's so cute. There are so many different, like, body shapes in here. You get all of these. And oh, it's just, it's so cute. It looks like it's going to be really positive, And I'm really looking forward to this one. Then the next prompt is BIPOC, and for that I'm going to read Highly Suspicious and Unfairly Cute by Talia Hibbert. I really loved the Brown Sisters trilogy, I even have a tattoo from the second book, so I very much love Talia Hibbert. And I'm really looking forward to this one because I think this is her YA debut, which very interesting, really want to see how that goes. 
um, but this is about two ex-best friends and they are kind of forced together to partner up for this like wilderness survival training camp or something and obviously being forced to be together feelings happen and they have to learn to survive together so that sounds super cute and especially because our female main character is obsessed with conspiracy theories I love conspiracy theories so this is going to be great then for a non-romance I'm going to read Womb this is on Kindle and it is an extreme horror book so I'm very intrigued by that. I really really want to get into some extreme horror because lately some of the horrors that I've read I've wanted more from. So I think extreme horror is the way to go. So we'll see how that goes. This guy goes to this motel and he checks into a particular room because that is the room where his mother died. And he goes to this room to end his life. With him in this room is a plus size sex worker. Love that so much. And I think he is like telling her the story and somehow it's an extreme horror. So I don't know what's going to happen. I am intrigued to read it. Like I was randomly going through Amazon trying to find some things that I was interested in and I came across this and I was like, oh, that sounds interesting. Read the synopsis, saw that it said plus size sex worker and I was like, yes! I wasn't specifically looking for a thick thighs book at that time so the universe just gave me a winner. We'll see what I actually end up reading during the week or the eight days but I am hoping to vlog both of these readathons so fingers crossed I actually get to do that so keep a lookout for those vlogs and you'll get to see what I actually end up reading but yeah I'm really excited for both of these readathons please make sure you are following all of the hosts for both of these they're all amazing amazing human beings and I love them all dearly but if you are partaking in either of these readathons please let me know and what are you reading also if you know of any good non-romance plus size books let me know because I'm pretty keen to read all of them but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one bye